Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Alex and you are watching BC Adventure. Well, it's been about 19 or 20 days since I've posted a video last, other than the two live streams I did of my 3D printer. And uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that I have just been taking a bit of a break from doing the tutorials, uh, but I'm back today. Um, the reason why I've been taking a bit of a break is because I've been working so much in office on my or for my nine to five job and I've been enjoying the summer with my family. Um, we just recently went over to Pender Island and we're doing another trip over to the Cultus Lake water slide soon and we've just been just been hanging out watching movies together you know going out on hikes and stuff and just just hanging out together which is good it's good to connect with family you know it's good to spend that quality time together um, and then as I mentioned I also got a 3d printer so I've been having quite a bit of fun with that I'm actually printing something right now and um, yeah I'm just uh, just kind of exploring some other hobbies and getting back into uh, my groove again so um, I did actually put a poll out asking if you guys would like to see some 3D printing content and I did see that quite a few people did say yes they would so that is something I'm going to jump into later on in the future. So uh, I did get the Bamboo Labs A1 Mini and uh, I thought it was a really good starter printer to work out with and um, or to try out. And yeah, I just wanted to uh, I just wanted to jump into it and see what it was all about. And I've uh, become pretty addicted to it. I've really enjoyed learning how to make my own 3D models and yeah, just get into it. Um, but today's video is based on uh, Time Machine, thanks to uh, this guy here asking what real nerd uses Apple gross respect zero. Well, Mr. Neo Geek 402, uh, today we're going to be learning how to set up a time machine on Unraid. Uh, pretty simple task for anyone to do who owns a Apple uh, laptop or um, Apple desktop computer. Um, it's uh, backwards compatible to uh, even the earlier versions of Apple, uh, or sorry, their Apple devices. And so I figured this is a, a really good tutorial for people who have an Unraid machine, but also want to uh, utilize it for their time machine backups. Um, it's really easy. It's going to be a short video. Um, and then I also have a call to action. I really want to know what tutorials you guys want to see. So if there's something Unraid related that you've been struggling with, I may or may not know it, but if you do request a video on it, I will do my best to learn it. And if I feel confident, I will post a video, you know, on a tutorial on that topic. So um, I'm really looking for your engagement here. So please let me know if there's anything you would like to see. Um, I'd love to dive into some new topics, some new Unraid content. So please let me know. What, what do you want to see? You know, this is uh, a channel for the community. A space for everyone to learn so your suggestion may help someone else who maybe didn't want to ask or didn't know how to ask so yeah let's uh let's let's put a, some comments down below like and subscribe if you want to see more of this content but yeah let's let's jump into how to get time machines set up so if you're unfamiliar with what Time Machine is, it's basically Apple's baked in backup system. Now you can use an external USB drive hooked up to your Apple device, or you can use a network attached storage like Unraid. So basically it's a really simple backup solution for anyone who owns a Mac desktop or Mac laptop. And what it does is it takes a snapshot of your hard drive and it uploads it to your server or your um, external hard drive. And then if anything were to go wrong, you can go back uh, a number of days, weeks, or months to uh, before you deleted that critical file or before that update that messed something up. So as you can see, I already run Time Machine on my Unraid server, but we can always add an additional folder or drive. So that's what we're going to do here. So you're going to head on over to your Unraid dashboard and we're going to click over on shares. 
And then what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to add a new share. So here I'm just going to call this time, yeah, just time machine YouTube. And then here, my primary storage, I'm going to set this to my cache drive. And then my secondary storage, we're going to set to the array. Now we're writing to the cache drive for primary storage. So it makes it nice and quick over the network. We can fully saturate our our uh, connection that we have to our server. So in this case, I'm using a one gig wired connection to my my Unraid server over my network. Um, you know, some of the newer Macs do have 10 gig built in. So, you know, if you do have that capability and your server is connected to a 10 gig switch, then that's awesome. You can you can fully utilize your your network connection. And it'll make backing up things a breeze. So we've done that. We've set caches primary and secondary to array. And what that does is once the mover function kicks in on Unraid, it'll move your time machine backup over to your mechanical hard drives or your older SSDs, whatever you're running on your Unraid machine. So from there, we're going to click on Add Share. And then here, we need to scroll down and we need to, uh, we don't need to do that for NFS, but we need to do it for SMB. So here, when we go, when we look at export, it says no, we need to change that to yes, time machine. And we're going to keep that public. You can set it to secure or private, but you are going to have to log in with a username and password in order to access that uh, that folder. So in my case, because nobody else in my home uses a Mac desktop or a Mac laptop, uh, I'm not too worried about this being secure. So I'm just going to leave this public. Danger! I'm the only one who uses my Unraid server other than the people in the house who use uh, like Plex or Jellyfin. Um, you know, a photo app or Nextcloud, but they don't actually use Unraid or would even have the first idea how to connect to it. Um, and my my network is secure. This is this is not accessible even to people who come into my home and get on our Wi-Fi. I've got a separate public network for them that is completely separate from my main network. So you need to take your security considerations uh, or your security protocols into consideration. Um, but here for example purposes, I'm just going to be leaving this on public. So after that, I'm going to go ahead and click apply. And there we go. So that's all done. Now, if I minimize or actually I don't even need to minimize, I'm just going to bring up Finder. For me, what on my Mac, what I need to do is press the command button and then K and it'll bring up this connect to server. Uh, window here. So we're going to click on because mine's already favorited in here. So I'm just going to click on connect. And here we've got our list of folders. Now we see here Time Machine YT has been connected. So I'm just going to open that up. And as you can see, it's an empty folder. So if I go, go over here to my Time Machine and then click on Time Machine Settings, I can actually add another folder. So I'm going to click on add and then here I've already got this uh, because I've mounted it to my computer. It's already right here. So if I click on set up disk, it'll ask for a username and password, which I already have saved in mind. So I'm just going to click connect. And then here it's going to ask us to uh, encrypt the backup and then set a password for it. And then we can actually set uh, how how much we want Time Machine to take up. I'm just going to leave mine on the max. And if you want to encrypt, you can set a password here. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then click Done. And just like that, we've now created a Time Machine backup location for our Mac device. Now, if you have multiple Mac devices that you want to back up, you don't want to use the same folder. So, or sorry, share. You want to create multiple shares for each computer. And in that case, I would just name it like TM Comp 1, TM Comp 2, or uh, whatever desktop names um, you uh, want to give that folder. But typically, we only want, or ideally, we only want one computer backing up to one time machine share on your Unraid server. I have tried backing up multiple to one folder and it has never worked for me.
So I want to save you that trouble. Uh, just use uh, one folder per computer. It'll make things so much easier for you. And that is pretty much it. There is nothing more to it. It really is that simple. Um, if you're unfamiliar on how to connect to a um, to a folder like I did using the command K, I'm going to show you how to do that really quickly here. So the way that I did that was I uh, oh, I went command K, and then here we have this window. And then to add a favorite here, we're just going to go browse. And then here we see my Death Star server. So if I open that up, I'm going to have all my shares in here. Now, once I click on Time Machine, it's going to remember this server. So when I return, this is going to be pre-populated here. And it actually remembers any of your other uh, servers that you've connected to as well. So it yeah, it's super easy. You you don't really need to do much in order to connect to your your time machine instance. If you've connected to time machine, or sorry, if you've connected to an Unraid share with your Mac before, it's really the same same way. You're just gonna open up that um you're just gonna sorry, mount that share, and then it will be accessible to you to set it up in the time machine settings. Now, one thing I want to make really clear is that you don't need to have this drive constantly mounted. Time Machine will mount that drive in the background and make the backups and then disconnect from it as it needs. So it's it really is that simple and straightforward. And it's one of the many reasons why I love Mac. Um, just to clarify, I do have multiple operating systems. I have uh, three Windows servers. I have a Windows 10 PC. Actually, I have two. Yeah, I've got two Windows 10 PCs. Uh, I use Windows 11 for my work computer when I'm working at home. Uh, I use Linux. I use Debian. I use Unraid. So um, that type of comment really makes no sense. And then they went on uh, saying how that uh, bringing an Apple TV with me or needing to bring an Apple TV with me on vacation is just proof that Apple sucks. Um, I think you're mixing up need and preference. Um, we have uh, um, all Mac, Mac, uh, sorry, all Apple TVs in our house. Uh, all our kids have iPhones um ipads you know it's uh we are uh an apple family um the kids don't have a laptop or anything like that um my wife uses a windows pc for work and uh we have a windows pc for our kids when they do want to jump onto a computer sorry to spend so much time on that comment um it just i i've been spending two weeks trying to figure out what it meant or why it was said but um you know, it is what it is, I guess. But other than that, um, please let me know what Unraid content you would like to see. Uh, let me know down in the comments. Um, if you want to see a live stream, maybe with like a Q&A or something like that, maybe a live tutorial. I don't know. Um, I'm open to uh, different ideas and um, uh, different forms of delivering content. Um, I'm just, yeah. Uh, I was a little burnt out, um, feeling stressed about, you know, like what tutorials am I going to do next? Um, you know, some of, you know, there's, there's been a few that I'm, you know, now not too happy with, um, based off some of the comments that I've been getting where people have been having some issues, uh, you know, following along, you know, I was proud of them at the time, but now looking back, and watching them again, I'm like, well, I could have explained that a little better. So if there's a topic you would like me to revisit, um, please let me know down in the comments. And yes, the Jellyfin 90-day uh, video is coming up soon. I'm not entirely sure when, but, you know, hopefully in the next three or four weeks. Um, I do have some more traveling planned uh, with the family that I, I do need to do. And um, based off uh, a couple videos I've posted of me traveling. I know that's not something you guys want to see, um, but do know that, you know, it's something I did want to share with you guys. I did want to, you know, um, I wanted to uh, open up the community a little bit more into, you know, my life. But um, uh, 
uh, from the comments and, and feedback I got. That doesn't seem like it was too welcome. So um, I won't post any of that anymore. And if I do, I'll make it members only. So if you do want to see it, well, you know, pay the, the dollar to, you know, to go and see it. Um, but yeah, uh, other than that, I'm going to end the video here. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying your summer and uh, I, I hope you're doing well. Uh, I hope everything's going good with every, each and every one of you. Um, I truly appreciate all the comments and support that I get here on this channel. Um, if if you asked me a year ago if I thought that I would have, I think it's 1,200 subscribers now, um, I would have laughed. And um, this has been a really cool experience. And being brought into the YouTube Partner Program, um, you know, that was pretty cool. And and the ability to to make some money back off these videos. And uh, I do have to say that any money that I do make off these videos, um, which, you know, I have started to, I think it's just over $100 now that I've, I've made over the last two, two and a half months. Um, I'm, I'm putting that money aside for um, channel related content or to upgrade some video equipment or, you know, maybe get a new camera that's a little bit clearer. Um, you know, just, uh, I want to use that money to, to feed the channel and, and grow it and make it bigger and better. Um, but yeah, I, I hope, you know, I know I've been rambling for about five, six minutes now, but anyways, I'll, I'll, I won't keep you guys anymore. Thank you for watching. Please like, and subscribe. If you like this kind of content, let me know down in the comments what you would like to see next. And, uh, yeah, I hope we can jump into some fun stuff together coming up here. So with that being said, take it easy. And I'll catch you in the next one.